All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing illuminated letters. So let's get started. So the idea of illuminated letters comes from old manuscripts. So basically when you look at like the Book of Kells, I'll show you guys a couple examples here and there. Uh, you'll see that the first letter of the sentence is normally decorated pretty fancifully. We've seen it in pop culture before. I'll put some more examples over here. Uh, so the idea is to decorate a letter of our choice, but in our case, we'll decorate it based on stuff that's about us. So over here, let's take a look at a couple examples here. So I have two works sheets or two handouts I normally pass out during the school year. We'll take a look at those later, but let's take a look at these examples from previous students. So this one, as you can see, the letter is a letter J. He made a nice one inch border and we could probably see what he likes. So he likes Jamaica, it looks like. Uh, again, he wrote it down here. He likes Minecraft and I don't think he put anything else. Maybe he likes lightning bolts. I don't know if it's stood for something, maybe Harry Potter, but it was a pretty cool idea. So let's look at another one. All right, so this one, I think it's backwards, or maybe it's forward, I don't know. I think it's a letter H in like old English style. I can kinda, kinda see like what they like. So they like ice cream, it looks like, they like hearts, maybe it's symbolizing Valentine's Day. Uh, the snowman could mean winter, and so on. So this is a pretty good idea. All right, let's take a look at another one. Ah, so this used to be my old example from way back in the day. Uh, it's an old English style version of a letter B. And uh, as you can see, I put down a couple things that are about me. So I like the Avengers at one point. So I put Thor's hammer and Captain America's shield, Harry Potter. That's why there's a Deathly Hallows symbol and um, some wands over here on each corner. There's a Mickey Mouse head. And I think I was going to add more stuff and so on. All right. So this one, uh, you don't want to do something like this. It's still a good piece of artwork, but there's nothing that tells me what's about them. So all I know is that they like the color purple, something starts with a letter K, maybe their name, and they like this kind of pattern over here, and they like stripes. That's all I really know about them. So it's not really a great example, but it's still a good piece of artwork. All right, so this one, again, another no name, but uh, I kept it. <laughs> so this one's really good because they chose a letter, maybe it could have been their first name, uh, but over here we have tons of stuff that lets me know what's about them. So we have Pokeball, we have marshmallows they like art uh, butterflies i think that's a little ghost by in there maybe mickey mouse some vines some hearts there's tons of stuff even music there's a lot of stuff that i can derive of what they like so that's really cool so i'm gonna leave this right here for now let's take a look at some of these worksheets so this worksheet i'm not sure if you guys can see from where you're standing or from where you were looking at but basically it's like the whole alphabet and then there's different examples of different types of lumen letters and it looks like they're based off of animals of what they start with so k there's a koala l there's a lily so that's not an animal sorry s there's a sloth and so on so i apologize if you guys can't see it it's hard to focus on this one in particular but um i do have some other examples so on the other side i put different fonts that you guys could probably use so if you want to use any of these uh you guys can just pause your screen and maybe copy it real quick and then we can go from there uh, so over here we have like Old English, kind of like tattoo style. Over here is a, an example of a letter H that's very decorative. Uh, over here is some block letter formations and over here is kind of like bubble type. It's kind of cool. Uh, so these are really cool examples and I think we did some work in our workbook uh, this past Go Live session so we might be able to get some examples from there too. So let me remove, um, actually let me keep this one on this side and let me remove this piece of paper and I'll show you guys what I've done so far. So what I've done so far was um, my paper and my sketch was a little bit bigger than usual. So I pretended that um, I have a normal piece of blank sheet of white paper. That's what is symbolized with this outer uh, Sharpie line over here. And then so what I did to make my nice border for the lumen letter is I took a ruler and I assumed that the ruler is about an inch thick. And then I took the ruler and I placed it down on the edge of the paper. So I'm just going to pretend again, I'm going to pretend it's the edge of the paper. And then I'm going to draw a line on the opposite side. And I do that for every single edge. So here, over here, and over here. And then I get a nice border. Okay. So hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Again, I tried to do this. So to symbolize that um, I'm on a blank sheet of white paper, but instead I'm on like a really big sketchbook. So here we go. So first step, I'm going to choose a letter. So I think the smartest idea that I should do is probably letter M for Mr. Mill. 
Thankfully, that Mr. starts with an M, and my name starts with an M. So, if I were you, I would do this in pencil first. However, for this demonstration purposes, I will do it in Sharpie, so it's a little bit easier to see. I can choose any of these M's over here, or I can come up with my own. Uh, it's important to come up with mind if um, you have an idea for the letter. So, say for instance, you want to do like maybe like uh, like a pool or like a river on top of the letter, where it's like a little empty. You might want to like think about kind of stuff like that. Um, or so on, or you want to make want to turn the M into something in particular, maybe I'll do that. So I'm gonna think about something of like that nature right now, and I think of something right now, and I think I want to use that idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a normal M with a pencil, and the reason why I did that is because my idea is to turn the M into different parts of uh, materials of art. So I'm gonna use these two outside areas. I'm gonna turn them into paint brushes. There we go. So again, you want to make sure you use your imagination. Uh, you don't have to be as creative as I am. If you just want to do black letters, that's fine too. But I think this will be a cool idea if I turn my M into something a little bit more creative. There we go. All right, maybe I should turn the inside into a crayon. So let me just draw the nub of the crayon down below. There we go. Kind of a little shape like that. I'm going to go all the way up. I'm going to go behind the thing right there. All right. I know they have these little squiggles on each end, but I don't want to copy Crayola too much. <laughs> and I'm going to create a little oval right there. All right, so that's that. Maybe for the other side, maybe I should create a Sharpie. Maybe we'll do that. So here is the Sharpie cap with its little thing right there, and then I'm going to create the body of the marker, like that. That's pretty cool for an M, right? So that's one thing about me, is that I like art, obviously. Um, let's try some more stuff. So maybe I can use it, maybe I can utilize the corners to uh, portray something that might pertain to me. On my other one, I did Mickey Mouse heads, I believe. Yes, I did Mickey Mouse heads, so that was pretty easy. Let's see if I can think of anything different. Um, I like coffee, so why don't I draw uh, coffee mugs or some things of that nature? So they could all be the same, maybe they can be different, we'll see. So I'm going to make sure that they're steaming hot, and then I'm going to create a mug right there. Maybe on this side I will do one in a holder. So you know what, I changed my mind, I'm going to make sure that each corner is a different version of coffee. So this one is like a to-go cup. Maybe I'll draw a tiny circle to symbolize where it could possibly be from. <laughs> Alright, so what about I do the next one? Hmm, what else could be coffee be in? Uh, I can do a tall mug like this one right here. <laughs> I have coffee with me right now. So I'll do a, a tall order of coffee right here. This is a tall one. Whoa. There we are. Almost messed up. Tiny handle. All right, maybe I should do one that has a sleeve, maybe. All right, so why don't I do that same type of lid? I can do iced coffee. I like iced coffee. But you know what? I'm gonna keep it pretty simple here. And this one's gonna have a holder on it. There we go, because it's piping hot. All right, so I have different types of coffee in each corner. I love coffee, I love art. Let's come up with some more stuff. So, what's more stuff about me? Why don't we create, hmm, I like movies. I don't have anything in particular. Um, oh, the platform I'm on right now. I love YouTube. I love doing YouTube videos for you wonderful people. So why don't I create YouTube buttons here and there? Maybe I'll do one, but in this demonstration purposes, I will create a few, just to fill out the page a little more. There we are. One right here. Looks like there's a pencil line from before, but that's okay. Maybe I'll put another one right there. All right. I don't like this video game as much, but it's still a part of my life. I'll add Pokeballs here and there, because I still like Pokemon once in a while. There you go. Nice Pokeball. Do a couple here and there. All right. Doing as quick as I can. I'm not sure if I have time to color it. Um, if I don't, 
um, at least you guys understand the concept of what you guys should be doing. So again, you guys should be making a letter, creating a one inch border, and do at least four or more things about you and decorate it like how I'm decorating mine right now. So the assignment's pretty simple. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm gonna keep going. Um, what else is about me? I like computer games. I like my computer in the back. Uh, I like cars. There's a few things I could draw, right? Um, I like my phone. That's not something to be proud of, though. <laughs> I like books. Oh, I love books. Why don't I draw a book? I love reading books. Books are amazing. So I'm gonna draw a simple book right there. I don't want to be too complicated. If I go too complicated, then people won't know what it is. That one's touching the edge a little bit. My bad. All right. Books are amazing. Sometimes I just like to leave technology at home. Go to a coffee shop, read a book. A corner. People look at me weird because I'm not on like a phone or anything. <laughs> there we go. A couple bucks. All right. What else can I draw? What else can I draw? Hmm. What do you guys think? I'm looking around my room. There's tons of stuff in my room, actually. Oh, Disney World. I love Disney movies. I love Pixar. Why don't I draw a couple of Mickey Mouse heads here and there? I do like vacationing too. We like to go to Michigan and there's a place called Traverse City that we like to go to all the time. Maybe there's a way I can implement that somehow. Um, I don't know how to draw a pontoon boat, but <laughs> maybe I could draw like a lake or something? I don't know. <laughs> um, what else? What else do I like? Uh, I guess I could draw some painter's palettes here. There we go. Where's the paint? And I can imagine that this thing is going to look amazing if it had some color to it. But in my case, it doesn't at the moment. But maybe I'll have time to color it later on. We'll see how long this video is. Alright, I still have some more space on the sides. I don't know what to put. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a crayon or something. I don't know. What can I put, guys? Oh, I like this fall season. One of my favorite seasons. So maybe I'll just put pumpkins. There you go. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. There's a lot of stuff about me on this page, if I've noticed. So if you guys can do... If I can do this many, you guys can definitely do four. Alright, for the last one. I think I'm just going to fill it with... My favorite food. I haven't done favorite food, have I? I like pizza. Keep it simple. I'm, I'm sure there's other things I like more than pizza, but pizza is simple go-to that I can just draw real quick. So we'll just draw the crust, and I'll just draw the cheese on top. There we go. All right, so I just saw the blink from my camera, meaning I'm running out of time here. <laughs> so I don't think I'll have time to um, color it, but I do have time to finish this. So right now I'm just adding some grass in the background, and I'm gonna try to do my best to draw a lake and a beach theme. So there's the beach, and there's the water. Uh, let me try to draw a pontoon boat, I guess. So here's the water. Here's my sad attempt at a pontoon boat. There we go, and it kind of goes up, I think. And there's like a little cover on top and then there's seats on the inside I don't know I don't know this is a really bad pontoon boat <laughs> alright there we go and there's a driver's seat and stuff and there's a wheel alright there you go that's actually not that bad and there's a couple hills a bunch of uh, places where adults like to visit uh, wineries and stuff <laughs> uh, but anyways I love uh, Tower City uh, maybe I'll just add some clouds here and there I'm trying my best to try to finish this off, guys. I'm, I know this video is running kind of long, uh, but I can just tell you guys right now that I will not have time to color this. All right, so um, if I do have time to color this, I'll post it as the uh, icon or thumbnail for this video. But I'm basically done. So I did this in about maybe like 10 minutes or so, and uh, all I gotta do is color it. So this video is kind of running kind of long. I apologize, but I think this project is really great. And it's a good learning experience from what the uh, Illuminated Letters, uh, sorry, can't talk, where Illuminated Letters came from. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.